Mm, Malik Dessel, welcome back to our Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shore DLC playthrough where uh, we're gonna read some of the other Delver's trinkets because I did a lot of exploration of screen or more or less I clear some of the fog of war except the area that is under control from the tower that's what like mm, south east would be that whole area and yeah we're not gonna do the main quest because kind of found the last trinket and i'm close to the area as well they discover a couple more aerial survey i only need the two there's only like two left and i'm assuming it's gonna be in the southeast area where it's covered by the tower and we'll see if i get the last trinket if something else is gonna pop up so that's why i'm gonna read them i do have a lot of data points as well to read i'll see how many i'm gonna read from those depending how long it's gonna take to see with the trinkets if there's anything else after I discover all of them and also we're gonna end the episode after i've done the last devotee outpost because interesting enough the one outpost was actually in the north in the near the aerial thing i forgot to remember. the aerial captures is written right here right words the aerial capture it was just a bit to the left as you look on the map and the last probably the last or i don't know maybe one of the last outposts again maybe it's gonna be one more in the southeast area that i have not explored is actually close to the main quest start so that's why i'm i said okay you know what perfect i have like a route i can take we do the last outpost or that outpost near the quest objective and then the next episode i can just move to the quest objective and start it now uh, i'm gonna read the first oh first thing that that is on the list here and uh i've not read it at all be the cherish flask personal keepsake inscribed clearly with direction along with the scroll note inscription on the east edge of the aisle at our camp you shall begin turn your gaze to the cliff note scrolled in a fold scrap of parchment waldorf the gold hollow is right under our noses. West of our... West of their main camp, there is a cave down by the sea. We gone ahead. Meet us there, knit your muscle, maybe your flask to celebrate after. Thinking we might cut the others out. Again, it's written by somebody that has that not that much experience in written in writing the words so yeah i'm gonna try to say them say the words as they should be might be a bit difficult anyway the next one will be music box person okay inscription a place to think and take a drink follow where it runs to where waters meet davard's journal final entry the others don't like my music it's too loud it attracts attention. It's just been one tune the whole damn trip. But I ain't going nowhere with my, without my musical melody maker. And none of them suckers want anything to do with it. That's exactly why I carved my piece of the direction to the buried treasure on it. I'm a strategical mastermind. Now this was the third one. Second one would be... So turn your gaze towards the cliff. Second one, ascend to its crest where you shall find... A place to think and take a drink. Okay, follow where it runs. Follow where it runs to where waters meet. Then the fourth devil's trinkets will be a devil's cap. With the inscription. Then between twin palms must you stand. And the note scrolled on parchment. This here is John Das slab of brimshine. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let those guys at it. Some leaders they are. The fellas trusted. Trusted them. And not one of them is left now. 
but John does still here. Sealing up the slab good along with my cap and sealing it up high where they can't get to it. If you find this, whoever you are, I'll be back for both later, so keep your damn pa paws off them. Now, unfortunately, I think neither of these guys I think uh, I found the bodies as well around the same area, so I don't know who's gonna come collect this from the group. I mean, next one will be Lucky Porker. Inscription Walk 20 paces north, then turn once more. And on towards where the sun rises from the shore. And the note scrawled in a messy hand. Bastards been hiding my lucky porker this whole trip. Thought they were just messing with me again till I slammed the door shut. I heard them laughing and laughing. Then I heard nothing. Hard to write in the dark. Gotta be a way out. Come on porker. Give me a turn of luck. One more time. Then... The last trinket that I have collected now is maybe half the hammer. Inscription. Cross the water till boots again touch sand and at last find our treasure prize. Note. Appears incomplete. Rocks fell. Gotta be on purpose. Getting faint. Don't try, I'm assuming, and then that's it. Now, this would be the map. Like I said, everything is explored. And this would be Devotee Outpost here. We're going to end up here. There is actually, besides the aerial capture uh, west here, the last trinket. Apparently, it's a bit more to the left of the aerial capture. It's going to be a door. And it looks like this was, or this is, another figurine. I did discover it off screen, but then I just reloaded. And I think this might be again of the case. You find it, but it's not exactly in that position. Who knows? We'll see. So that will be the northwest over there. Maybe the devotee outpost. So mainly around here might be the other two. Maybe, who knows? Maybe one around the cauldron, maybe one around here. Where I tried to explore, but I got shut down. Uh, we will see. Anyway, in this island, actually, there was a storm board that I had to do a follow of it. It was a bit interesting. Kind of a combination of aerial capture, something that I had to follow in the sky. It was full of clouds, lightning and whatnot. And here's the storm board. Just a bit of extra, so to speak. Other than that, I don't think it was story related. It was just to... Oh, this is locked. Why? Huh. I have the corpse there. That's the aerial capture. There was one data point in one of the three closed doors. Did I get the key? Yeah, looks like he did not make it either. This will be Mighty Pint. Pint. Looks awesome. And it's got more directions carved into it. There's a note attached. Delphi this belonged to was marooned here. Thought they were on a wild goose chase. So their search for the gold hollow turned up nothing. I think I've got all of the directions. Starting from that camp I found. Might as well see if I can find that treasure trove. Okay. Now, interesting. Why can't I open this one? I did not do a quite full search of this island. That's why I'm not sure why that one is closed. Hmm. Right, let's... So this actually gives me an errand. With all the directions here, another three points, but let's read. Mighty Pint. Oh, this is quite a read. All right. In the inscription, between two patches of grass, red as blood hidden from all prying guys. Bracken's Day Notes. Glyphs crammed onto a roll of parchment. Day one. Three of us 
dying inside a week chasing some wild notion. Not dwarves, worth it. Figured I'd take one of the boats while they're all sleeping. Head back to the claim way. I was a little louder than I'd like and woke them. Crew were all riled up. One thing led to another, led to me marooned on this damn island. Day two. Current strong. Damn the sea. Damn the crew. Damn this whole damn expediting. Day five. They're not so bad, the crew. They left, left me some ale. Not so bad at them all. Me and my mighty pint will do the job. Day six. My head's pounding from last night. Getting real cloudy up in the sky around that stormboard too. Taking shelter in this here ruin. Day 10. Lightning keeps following me around the island like sting behind the Nora. This ruin's door been sparking something awful since the machine showed up. Day 12. Storm still raging. I heard one of the other doors slamming closed when it got struck. I think I gotta try my luck swimming to the mainland before I get stuck in here. Finishing the ale and off I go. And looks like unfortunately he couldn't. Now, was this as a data point as well? Because this is all the data points over here. Might be. But I don't know which one would, will it be. I can't remember. I think maybe it could be this one here. I may have a vague notion that one of these spots here was actually empty. Yeah, we'll see later on. Okay, is this actually... Ah, okay. Uh, assuming that might be the location there. I'm gonna have this quest selected. Okay, let's call my buddy. So I had quite a bit of a fight with this storm bird. Oh, really? Ah, you fried my mount altogether? God damn it. Did, uh, that one I did not notice. Well, there is a sunwing mount over there, so should be fine. And to be honest, I can take a swim. It's not that long of a distance. So I know he struck down my mount, but I thought he was just... Just knocked it out. I guess I needed actually to check to see. Unless... No, the mount is gone. I was actually thinking maybe it's like an area you can't call the mount. It's like grayed out in a way. In this case, red out. But I don't think that's the case. Okay. There was actually one data point right next to this area. The question mark. Ruined. Just... One of those shops. Maybe there's another figurine inside. Damage looks recent. I should take a closer look. Starting with that fanghorn. Yeah, there was a data point right there. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, I'm assuming I have to pull these ones, right? So, why were you examining this one then? Probably when this wall came down. But what was it doing here? My focus might help. I mean, already took it out. A crate? A shellwalker crate? This fanghorn wasn't working alone. If the fanghorn found anything worth salvaging, the shellwalker would have hauled it away. Might be able to pick up its tracks. Right, okay. It should be where ah, there. 
Shawwalker scuttled away. I guess we're gonna have to take care of a Shawwalker. Get that figurine. Is that you, buddy? Pass it'll do a lot of damage. In the middle of this, all these white moles. One of these shell walkers must have been from the shop. Oh, it looks like it's got some friends too. It'll be easier to search the area if I clear them out. Ah, it's not just one shell walker. There's multiple. That looks like another one of those figurines by that crate. Now I just have to get to it. Hey, let's do this. Okay, they are kind of low level, so hopefully this should be quick. Okay, who oh, who wants to be next? as well really it's a party I get it okay now what ah. really nah almost missed on this one no Okay, it's a bit of a mess around here. No, no come on. Okay, let's get it. Eloy? Can you? Okay, I guess you cannot grab on this guy. Okay, guys, you're being really Did I not dodge that one because I was with my back against the wall? What happened over there? Shields for you. Okay. Anybody else? Or he might just be in this shellwalker crates sitting right here. And it's irrelevant. More figurine for the collection? He was there. Just sitting. Nice. I was about to say, wasn't there another scrap pile? Yes, it was. Could have gone maybe a bit more better. Alright, so collectibles. Queen Rex. A uh, figurine of a commanding, gargantuan dinosaur preserved and digitally notarized. 
any interdimensional traveler who keys 6837 into their Pancha portal cons console hopes they don't find themselves stepping into the lair of the deadly Queen Rex. Now you can own a piece of Panja history with this 1 to 45 scale model of the uh, iconic monstrous monarch herself. Okay, sold by Danesh, sold blah, blah. Collector's note added. Mint condition. Reason I'm selling? I wanted that Reggie. They stopped the production on, on those after four facts misunderstood the artistic vision behind the best dino ever. Now, they're impossible to get. Scott said he had some connection at TFZ. Turns out he does not. Got me this thing instead. What am I supposed to do with another queen? Way to ruin my 30th birthday. Eh, ouchie. Right, I can uh, get you there then. Okay, so that leaves one figure in, which again, I'm assuming is going to be in this area. Okay, we're going to have to make a pit stop to get uh, me a Sunwing. I know, I... Oh, actually, can I... Hmm. Could potentially do fast travels and get the Sunwing later on, to be honest. Might get it off screen. But the reason being, I might need to use a flying mount to get around quicker. So I'm gonna have to go get one. Oh, these guys are gonna see me. Oh, I do need uh, some of the plants. Uh, well, thing is, I do hope. The Sunwing is gonna be chill about it, although looks like he's facing the direction I'm coming. Just relax, buddy. Relax. Go. Okay, hop on it. Make sure. Uh, I'm not in uh, combat anymore, so I can fast travel and all that. Okay, where did we end up? Way over there. Uh, yeah, that's quite a ways flying, to be honest. I'm just gonna fly towards it now until... Well, I think I should be able to fast travel now, right? Yeah, and I'll take this one in the south. Okay. 200 something meters. Yeah, well, I'll just run to it. And actually, this kind of gives me an opportunity to get some of the berries. Actually, 28 I can have as backup, not 24. Eh, it's fine. Now, what do we have here and who? Yeah, we do have above because there was actually a data point. 
that I missed up there. And also, what was that next to me? I thought uh, I had a machine right next. Oh, there's a fourth one. Will this be just a critical strike or assassinate? Okay, silent strike directly. Nice. Am I missing anybody else? Oh, you're coming all the way down. All right. Uh, thing is. Mm, I might have missed my chance to get him. Emphasis on might. Yeah, uh, he's gonna see me if I advance more. Wait, where exactly are you coming? Did you see nope. that? Nope. He did not see anything. Go and check. I mean, you can come and check if you want. Get searching. You're not going to be jumpy all watch, are you? Mm. No sign of anyone. Sorry. At ease. There can't have been anyone here. Right. You're actually going to see him. But this time it's a silent strike. Nice. Well, oh, I knew I heard you. You heard nothing. Shh. So it's not not exactly for death. And well, I'm another alert. I was about to say, surprised that you did not see me. One cut. I want you dead. That's all of them. Another outpost taken care of. Hey. There is actually some loot here. And what about data points? There it is. The barbarian. Uh, what do I have here? Other tools? Lens potion. I thought I had. Right, it was 10 out of 11, it said. Ah. Scan glyphs. And if I'm to assume. That's going to be another scan glyph at the other outpost. Then that means that's the last outpost. Okay, let's read the Barbarian. And you know what? I'll read the other text as well. A water-stained roll of parchment filled with glyphs in a crude hand. The Barbarian did this. She ruined everything. The ascension. His light. She took it from me. I will crack her skull open and leave her to rot. Jesse fell on. And then primary expedition log. A. When Commander Ateka ordered my squad on a scouting mission to the burning shores, I had my doubts. Was this a death sentence in disguise? Exile? Fashov, sensing my unease, took me aside and let me in on the truth. The mission came from Chief Hekaro himself. The chief wants a detailed account of the region and whether it can be claimed to expand, expand the clan lands. As one of only two in the tribe capable of writing such intel, I found myself uniquely positioned to lead this mission. We reached the burning shore after a long and arduous journey south. The archipelago instantly called to mind the Isle of Spires, broken ruins reaching to the sky, while crumbling structures jut out from the ground. 
but that is where the similarities end. Machines prowl the jagged landscape. The air is thick and tainted by smoke, while our scouts speak of rivers of fire beyond our camp. Curiously, there are no signs of other tribes. We may very well be the first to set foot in this wild land. If anyone has come before us, they certainly did not last. While there is a strange lingering beauty to this place, the ruins will be impossible to fortify against the machines with anything less than an enormous force, more than the chief would be willing to spare. If rumors of renegade marshal recruiting an army in the desert are to be believed, it's clear there's nothing for us here. In the morning, I'll give word for us to move out and return to the lowlands. Let the machines have this for second place, Ritaka. Okay, and that finishes that. Uh, yeah, let's see with the Delver's Trove. And then we're gonna do the last outpost. So I'll fast travel to the camp. Well, the Delver's camp, that is. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll fast travel directly. I have enough travel packs. Delver's camp. Their treasure trove should be somewhere around here. I better double check the directions. Ah, all right. So, uh, data points actually quest because it's here. Turn your gaze to the cliff and ascend to its crest. We, sh we shall find a place to think and drink. Follow where it runs to where waters meet. Then between two palms, you must you stand. So we need to climb. I know I could potentially do this with a flying mount, but... Oh, for crying out loud, Aloy. It's not the direction I wanted you to... to climb. Okay, top of the cliff. Now where to? Okay. To think and take a drink. Follow where it runs to where my water... Okay. Uh, turn against the cliff and ascend to his crest where you should find. Assuming, yeah, the, the river. Follow where the water meet. All right. Queen palms. Palm trees. I think I'm on the right track. Then he said something to the north. North thirty faces. I mean, right, 20 paces. Uh, I'm on sand again, all right. But this might not I'm be sure the... I'm headed the right way to that trove. Yeah. I should check the directions again. That awesome trove somewhere around here. I should check the directions I found. Said 
turn, but not exactly left or right. Ah, right. So, where between these two? 20 paces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. Let's say it's around here. I have a feeling it might be on the other side, but... And on towards the where the sun rises from the shore. Isn't that west? Well, thing is, no, it's east, right? Uh, the sun always rises on the east and sets on the west, right? I think so, yeah, because it says cross the water until... Uh, touch sand between two patches of grass, red as blood. Okay, here it is. <laughs> so, what did I get? Delver's Trove. It's a nice hole of brimshine. Okay. They could have split the profits, but their greed got the better of them. So, finders keepers. <laughs> Indeed. Nice. Okay. Uh, have four skill points. Sure, I'll just get this one. So I'm not gonna leave the surges for last. Maybe this two. That's four points. Nine. Thirteen. Seventeen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Why do I have a feeling that I don't have enough points? Because, yeah, this is going to be another three points, sure. Could be from the cauldron, yes. So this is going to be at least six points from the figurines and the main quest, at least. Which is going to be... Well, actually enough to get these two surges to level two. And then it's going to be 5 points each, 19. Ah, I don't know. Right. Oh, there is actually a campfire right here, so I'll just activate that one. And the camp would be there. Right, we're going to fly towards it. And maybe get the other... Uh, that sunwing sight along the way. Oh, uh, actually, although I'm hoping I'm not gonna get targeted. Should be fine, hopefully. They should be leaving me alone anytime soon. Okay, how many we have here? One, two, three, four. Ah, but they're seeing me like this. Alright. Is that actually enough to 
case. False alarm. Mustn't Call be anyone here this time. Yep, false alarm. Oh, I'm surprised they did not see me moving inside here. Oh, I actually. You bastard! I'll stop you! Okay. Uh, Where are you? Get over there. expect for my uh, mount to kind of give me away. What? You're just going to hide? Says the guy hiding as well. I hope this was the last outpost, and that the rest of Laundra's Quinn came to their senses. Well, mm, I guess this is confirmation that it is the last outpost. Okay, there's a chest there, and I th think I might have caught a glimpse of... The data point, yep, there it is. The test. Uh, which is gonna be the last scan glyph. Hey. The others are panicking. I can read it on their faces, hear it in their whispers. Weak, pathetic, faithless worms. Together we all swore devotion to Londra, but now Without the promise of ascension, they crumble and mourn, loose rocks against the tide. Their tiny means, their tiny minds, <laughs> don't see this is why we were chosen. They don't see this is another way we prove our loyalty. I will find a way to be with you, Walter. On this world, a new world, whatever it takes. I will turn this pain into devotion. I will find who destroyed your dear dream. I will spill the blood of these cynics. I will. And maybe he got interrupted. Right. Uh, so that. Then I'm assuming uh, no other outposts. Cool. So that means it's gonna be just the main quest, which I'm right next to it. So that's great. Is the cauldron here as well? I would potentially get to it like via land, but again, I think uh, maybe see if we can get rid of that tower first so I have free reign to go anywhere I want because I don't want to have surprises, get close to the cauldron, and be shot at by the tower. So for now. I'm gonna read a couple more data points. I do have this line over here. I'm gonna finish uh, with this one here and see how long they are. And maybe uh, read a couple more. So the first one will be Don't you trust me? Data corrupted. Nadia. It's one seminar. I'd like you to open yourself to the possibility. Grace. For the last time. No, Nadia. Why? Blackship helped me so see beyond the hollows I was hiding behind. Power down my projections. It truly has upgraded my life, and now I'm trying to raise the flag for you. Great. No, Nadia. So you're saying you don't want to better your life? Grace. You sound like every other flag raiser invading the hollow boards. Nadia. I'm not every other flag raiser. I'm your sister. Don't you trust me? Grace. Are you though? Or has your upgrade turned you into data corrupted? Yikes. Uh, Alright. Easy pickings will be the next one. <laughs> That's really convenient. Like, don't you trust me? And then easy pickings. 
read the next data point. FP minor. Hey, this set. And Bev's, Bev heals high. You down? Is the mother lord of holes. Big houses and big spenders. Big houses equals big spenders on high end gear. CRL SP. Another tech drive. FP. Strip and sell, baby. CRL. Guess I'm starting to feel weird, man. Taken away from the poor. FP. No one's gonna miss a few boxes. And if someone sees, just say you got a kid and you really wanna give them something for their birthday. The rich eat that shit up. Sites. Last time I checked, uh, Swift sell. I saw last gen focus proc unit getting 5 times market value. CRL. Shit. 5 times for one unit? FP. It's crazy, I'm telling you. If we miss this, someone else will take it. CRL. Uh, Alright. This is the last time, though. FP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like always. Mm -hmm. Ah, something tells me that wasn't the last time. <laughs> and the next data point is called Told you so. Let's see what this is about. Cat. The court ruled in their favor. Bogdan. I'm sorry, babe. Cat. Just said Reese memory service rendered rendered the offer services and made clear the risk. Bogdan. Technically, you do get to see the blind island for the first time though. For the first time again. Cat. They wiped my hole last year at MIT. Bogdan. I know, I know. I'm just saying. Cat. What are you just saying? Whose side are you on? Bogdan. Just that some people do think that stuff is too experimental. Cat. Of course. You would. Told you so this. Bogdan. Also. Abzo absolutely not worth that hacky twist ending in hollow. Cat. Hacky? Bogdan. Well. Cat. You know what Bogdan. Maybe I should have asked them to wipe you from my. Data corrupted. And Delver's Directions. Okay, so this was... I was right that it was on this line. Uh, I'm not gonna read this one because we know from the quest. It's the same directions. Alright. Uh, let's read... Security Case. Expandia. Okay. Security Case is proud to announce our latest partnership with the beloved Panja franchise. This limited run of 5 iconic dinos comes in packaging that utilizes the full range of indestructible Security Case technologies. We guarantee a mint condition figurine, thus proof enough to survive a sandstorm. And so impact resistant you could drop it from a high speed vert. No need to worry about collapsing shelves. And with our patented steel platform. If you resell, your buyer will know it's the real deal. Don't miss out on the ultimate range for collectors by collectors. I don't know why when I read this Enough to Survive a Sandstorm, I just remember the song. If you know the song, you know the song. <laughs> it's been going around for a while. As a meme as well. Okay, and I'll have one, two, three, four, five, nine more that are unread. So maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll read a couple of more, see how long they are. If I read all of them in this episode, that would be great. So let's say we start with maintenance report. Data corrupted. Hiked up to the sign and did an inspection. The coating is working up to spec. Reapplied the nanite mixture on one corner of the second L that seems to have been missed when initially applied. Aside from that, 
There is no sign of weathering or decay. So far, the protection is as good or better than what we saw on the test surfaces in Vegas. Bearing unforeseen circumstances, the new gong should keep the sucker safe well into the next data corrupted. Okay, URC order CM-1353A. General Hartwell Young. By order of General Aaron Harris, or Harris, Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff and Commander of UR, USRC, you are hereby directed to begin immediate withdrawal of all civilian guard and military forces from the Cal Marine region. All forces are to be redirected to the Reno and Vegas defensive lines, reassignments for specific battalions to follow. Proceed with civilian evacuation until 0600, after which time all remaining air and ground vehicles must be mobilized for troop transport. Further instructions will be forthcoming in the next hour. Kate, I know this must feel like abandonment, but you've done data corrupted. Okay, finest hour. Keller. Kelly? Kelly. How may, may I assist, Mr. Lee? Keller. I want this place covered in as as many cream roses as possible for my little get together. See how many florists are still accepting orders, Kelly. Mr. Lee, I must remind you that a mandatory evacuation order has been issued for Los Angeles County. For your safety, you must, Keller. Enough, Kali. There's no safety in what's coming. Why leave the comforts of home just to die holed up in some dingy sh shelter? Uh uh. I'm doing this my way. Now, for the theme, let's go with finest hour, hour. I want everyone dressed in their best, but add a no hollow production costumes requirement to the dress code. I'll be damned if I go out with Glenn flaunting his tacky cowboy capybara get up from his stalled and wild series. And for the toast, why don't we data corrupt it? Well, I guess go on on our own terms, by the looks of it. All right, I'm going to leave the last six well, that I have right here. There's still six more that I haven't found. And then from side quest, the quest, all the data points, there's still a few of them left. And I'm assuming that's going to be via main quests and of course side quest as well and we'll see where we go from there for now gonna be it for this episode and next time i'm gonna meet with seika for the next part of the main quest and hopefully we get rid of that tower so i can do all the aerial captures and whatnot and also the cauldron so hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys, but as always, don't forget to take care.